Thanks for watching and joining in today with this very special episode. This is Simple Art at Home with me, Laura Houston. And today's project is called Healing Hearts. We're going to do a special uh, service project. But before I start on today's lesson, I love to show student work that's been submitted. So in just a moment, we'll see student work from previous episodes. And I will show all this student work again at the end of this video in case uh, viewers tune in a little bit late. So let's look at the student work. Oh, very nice, Jonah and Jesse. Yoltsin, this is a beautiful pair. Good job, Yoltsin. And Vivian is watching all the way from Texas. That's a great pair. Michaela, wonderful, from Loera, fourth grade and Alicia from sixth grade, Juarez, good job, Alicia. And Mason did the origami project. That's another episode from Price Elementary. So um, thank you everybody. Keep sending me your work and be sure to check out um, my other YouTube channel. It's just under my name, Laura Houston, Simple Art at Home. Um, you can also access those videos on the Anaheim Elementary School District student portal. So if you look under visual arts and the elements of art, I have 19 uh, basic drawing videos that go all the way from TK, transitional kindergarten, to sixth grade. So I'm going to start us off on uh, today's lesson. Uh, today's lesson, as I mentioned before, is very special. Um, there's some steps to it that I'd like to go over with you beforehand. So number one, uh, you are going to be creating a piece of art that we're going to send as a thank you to some local Anaheim first responders and essential workers. Because as you know, we've been in the middle of this pandemic and there are some people who are really working hard and are so dedicated and we I wanted to send some thank you art to them. So first of all, I'm going to show you four different uh, businesses or organizations and I want you to decide if you want to send your art to all four, if we're going to take a picture and I can email it for you, or if you want to make one specific art piece that is just for one. So first of all, let's look at who those four organizations are. So as you can see, um, that these are very special places. I have called them all ahead of time and they are all very excited and very touched that we will be sending some student art to them. So you're going to decide before you start, uh, do you want to tailor your art project specifically to one or make it general so it can be sent to all four? So after you make your decision, we're going to create your art. So you have a choice of making a piece of art or a card. Let me show you some examples. So here are some examples of what we're going to be making. So it's, it's thank you art. That's why it's called healing hearts. So this one says, thank you for your kindness. This is an example that could be emailed to all four individuals. It's not just specific. It doesn't say, you know, thank you for help keeping us fed, like that would go to a uh, state of brothers or a grocery store. So here's one example. And remember, you can pause your video at any time or go back if you want to look at these pieces of art again. Here's another example. This one says, thank you for keeping us healthy, safe, and fed. Okay. And and I'm going to guide you through part of this, but then I want you to make this art your own as well. And if you don't have any crayons, here's an example that I did in black and white. So you could do this art with pencil. Uh, this one says, thank you with all my heart. Just with black and white. And I want you to only put your first name on the art um, if you want to add your name. Uh, don't put your last name, just for privacy reasons. Here's an, 
another example um, that my husband Jeff made. Um, I want to point out to you that he used the interior of the circle to carry his art through to the exterior of, exterior of the circle. So it looks like it's layered and it goes all the way through. So this is an example as well. And all of these pieces separate warm colors with cool colors. That's what we'll be working on today. Okay, so here is an example of the card that you could make too if you want to do the card project. So you can do both or one or the other. So you can, you have to decide who you want to send your art to. Then you're going to create your card. Now here's where you have choices. You're going to take a picture of your artwork and the easiest thing I think is you can email it to me and my email is always up on the screen and I will send it out for you to all four organizations. Or you can take a picture and ask uh, an adult to email to these four recipients. As a student, you can't email outside of our Anaheim Elementary School District organization, but I'm a teacher within Anaheim, so that's why you can email to me. We're all under the same umbrella. But if you want an adult in your household to email, you, can, you have that option as well. Or if you prefer um, sending your art in the mail with a stamp and an envelope, that's an option too. Maybe you want to do all of these. Um, and I'd also like to say, now is a time that I want to invite the whole family to uh, do this art together. I don't know if, if the adults in the house have time, um, if they're not really busy right now, they might want to do this too. And I will gladly forward their art along. Okay, so let's get started. I will show the addresses and emails again at the end. Okay, so we're going to start by uh, creating the circles. And I'm just going to put this one back up again. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to use two plates, a larger plate to trace a circle and a smaller plate. And I'll just start with uh, the large plate. And you may want to use a pencil for, for this part. Pencils don't uh, show up on camera very well, so I'm starting with a crayon. And I'm going to try my best not to drop this plate because it's hard on a vertical surface. But I'm going to start by tracing a circle. There we go. So that's with the large plate. And then I'm going to do a smaller circle inside. Um, you can find anything in your household. I just think the painting in the kitchen work really well. There's all kinds of bowls and jars and cans that you might want to use. Uh, since I'm using plates because my paper is very, very large, you might have to find like a very small uh, dish or like a, I don't know if you have small ice cream bowls or something like that. So here I have my two circles. And remember, you can pause this video at any time and go get the supplies that you want or just pause if you need more time. This video also stays up on the Anaheim Elementary School District YouTube channel, so you can go back and look at it later. So I'm going to start by uh, cutting out a heart that will go in the middle. So I'm just taking a regular piece of paper and folding it in half. If you've done this uh, before, like making valentines in the classroom. Okay, so... I'm going to just kind of estimate here. I'm going to put a big heart in the center. Let's see, about right here. I'm just going to draw half of a heart and I'm going to cut it out. how this heart came out. Okay. I think that'll work just fine. And remember, um, this is only my suggestion. You're doing your own art and you can create your art um, any way that you want to. I'm just giving you suggestions. Okay, 
So I'm going to use this as just a, a background paper. I'm going to turn my heart over because I don't want to use the side that I traced on. I don't want that to show. I'm going to fill my heart with warm colors. Warm colors are the colors of the sun. Reds and oranges and yellows and pinks. And I'm going to color it in in an abstract way. I'm just going to start filling it here. And you can, you can have the uh, crayon go in any direction that you want. Maybe you're using paint today. Maybe you're using colored pencils. Uh, you can use whatever you have. If you are using a regular pencil, if you don't have crayons at home, I suggest doing a pattern inside the heart. You could do stripes or stars. You could write, you could draw smaller hearts inside. As I said before, this is entirely up to you. There is no wrong way to do this project. When you make um, art projects to give away, if they're just from your heart, they're just projects out of love, there's no wrong way. And uh, everybody, all adults that I know, they love receiving uh, children's art as a gift. So you just color this the way that it speaks to you, how you would like to fill it in. And as I said before, there's no wrong way. I, as I said, I called all of the organizations in advance to make sure, number one, do they want student art? Do they want us emailing them? Whoops. Uh, that happens. I'm, I'm pushing really hard. Uh, these are oil pastels, and sometimes your crayons may break. I just love getting the vibrant colors. That's why I push really hard. But anyway, I was saying that um, the Anaheim Police Department, they created a separate email just for us, and uh, they said that they're going to create a slideshow of our digital art that we send in, and it's going to show on all the TV screens inside the police station, in their staff rooms and um, in the lobby. Uh, the urgent care on State College that I called, they were very, very touched. They just couldn't believe it. They said, what, you're gonna send art to us? And um, I said, yes, we would love to. And they were just so touched and so uh, thank like grateful. And can you just imagine how our art will brighten their, uh, their lobby as well. They might decide to print out our art. They might show it on their TV screens. Okay, so as you can see, I just filled this uh, randomly. This is kind of abstract. I think I want to add a little more red to it. But as I said before, there is no wrong way to do this. This is your art. Now I'm going to get rid of this backdrop piece. Anaheim Fire and Rescue, they said they would love to receive the art. Oh, Stater Brothers, they said that not only um, are they going to, uh, you know, show the art at the Stater Brothers there on um, State College, I believe it's near La Palma, they're going to send, forward it on to every single Stater Brothers so that everyone can see our thank you art. So, I really hope you follow through and email in your work. You can decide wherever you want to put this. To the side, I'm gonna center mine, and I'm gonna to have to get in front of the camera, sorry for a moment. I'm gonna center it right about here. Okay, I think that looks nice. So I filled this heart with warm colors. Remember the colors of the sun, reds and oranges, pinks and yellows. Now, for the rest of this, surrounding it, I'm going to use cool colors. So I'm gonna start with a blue, a real dark blue here. Oh, pretty. That's G. He always likes to sit here while I'm doing art. Okay, so I'm just gonna, and this you can do any way that you want. I showed you those other designs. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just giving an example. I think it really looks good if you color everything in. Like don't leave 
the background paper blank. The exception to that is this ring right here. I do like leaving that ring open. Notice the blue is a cool color. The cool colors on the color wheel are the colors of ice and water. Blues, greens, purples. And when you mix blue colors with, when you mix cool colors with warm colors, they really seem to pop. They're vibrant against each other. I'm going to choose a light blue, a very beautiful light blue to fill the top part. And remember, this is, you can do this however you want. I hope we've got some moms and dads or maybe older siblings. Uh, to those of you who are watching from outside our area, I know Vivian is probably watching from Katy, Texas. Vivian, you'll want to ask your parents who would be good recipients to send your art to. You'll want, you know, maybe you want you have a local um, grocery store where you shop or your local police department in Katy, Texas. And um, that goes for everybody else too. If you have a special uh, person in mind that you'd like to mail this to, if you've been sick and you've had to go to the doctor, um, why not email your art uh, to your doctor? You can do that too. So here's a basis of uh, cool colors with warm colors. I think um, before I add more detail, I'm going to write some words up here. I think I'm going to write thank you. Um, here, here are some examples if you want to look at the font. So Jeff did really nice font if you want to see how he did that with his letters all caps. Look how he put a happy face inside the O's and colored it yellow. He did a little comma and then there's pink hearts on the side. That's just an idea. Um, this one again says thank you with all my heart. And this is where you're going to decide are you sending, are you creating a piece of art that can be sent to everybody or is it going to be very, very specific? This one says thank you for keeping us healthy, safe, and fed. Um, I thought this one could still be sent to everybody. And look at the font and the hearts. You can choose if you want to do this part with a uh, marking pen or crayons. It's entirely up to you. So I'm just going to write with uh, my pastel. Since I'm going to write thank you, I'm going to start over here. So I'm going to try to center it. And then down here, I'm just going to write love, Laura. I'm not going to write my last name. I'm doing lowercase there. You know, maybe we want to do some hearts over here. And I'll, I can color those in a little bit later. Let's add some more uh, detail to this center part. Um, Let's see, I think um, I can draw some lines coming up over here. Again, this is might just kind of abstract, and I might add some black here to outline it. Just add some more uh, interest, some interest. I'm going to outline this too, let's see. I really like black against uh, bright colors because I think it really makes the colors pop. And I think also I'm going to outline the heart too with black. Let's see how that looks.
sometimes you have to like look at your art a little bit later and and change it up a little bit you know, just like when you write an essay and you go back to it and you modify it okay so we got some black outlines there and then maybe i'll put some black here and i'm going to outline this dark again I'm not going to take this art all the way to the finished product because I want you to use your imagination. Let's see, I might add a little bit of this color to make for interest. Okay, now what I'm recommending to you is to fill in the whole um, background behind your art. So if, I'm not going to do this, but if, let me just see what it would look like. So it, if this were square, and yours could be any shape, you could be doing this on any paper, even lines notebook paper is fine. It's the thought that counts, right? So I'm not going to take this to the finished product, but um, I highly recommend that you fill all of this in. And again, like this one I did like a sky theme with rainbow. So this was kind of rainbow and uh, clouds. And I also outlined the black here. But it really uh, pops when you fill it all in completely. But I left this part white because this, I felt like the words were really important. I didn't want them to get covered up. So I tried to follow that same pattern. Um, and again, we have this one. With what I did here is I cut out more hearts the same way, but just smaller, and they, I matched them to this. And I did like a ribbon here, and I added gray. So, you know, you can, this is your project. Um, you can do this, you know, however you want. So, for the card, it's a little bit smaller. So, I'm going to move to the table um, to work on the card, and then I'll um, come back up here. So, um, I'll be right at the table in just a second. Okay, so for the card, um, and you have a choice. You can do both or one or the other. So for the card, I thought you might like to see an example of what you might want to write on the inside. You could write something like, you are amazing. I thought of the word courage, because when I think of our firefighters and paramedics and police officers, I think it takes a lot of courage to do what they do. I cut out a heart and just glued it inside the card. And then I wrote, thank you, and I signed my name. And AESD stands for Anaheim Elementary School District. That's us. So I'm gonna show you how you might want to decorate the card. You don't have to do what I'm doing, it's just suggestions. The card is a little bit different. So I'm going to use this as background paper, and I'm going to take another piece of white paper and fold it in half. Actually, I think I'll, let's see, I think I'll fold it this way, the long way, because I'm going to make three parts. And let's see, I'll just take, a gray color so you can see this. I'm gonna make three hearts of three different sizes. One, two, and three, a little one, how's that? And I'm gonna take my scissors and cut them out just like as if we were making Valentine's. There's one, what one would look like. Thank you for that weight. There's another heart. Two. And again, these are just suggestions. If you want to make a card and make it the same way that I demonstrated the flat art piece, you can do that as well. And there's a third part. Okay, now um, I'm going to color these hearts using these colors. And again, maybe I'll just write right here. These are called 
warm colors. Warm colors are the colors of the sun, reds and oranges and yellows. You might want to do little tiny hearts or stripes or stars. Uh, maybe you want to write words inside your hearts. I'm choosing to create hearts filled with warm colors. But again, um, you do what you think would look best, okay? Especially, you know, when we do craft projects like this, I, I'll just mostly make suggestions for you, but you might think of something very different and it might be a lot better. And again, whatever you do, there's no wrong answer because the main point of this is to brighten somebody's day. We are, send, we are creating art for somebody else to make them happy and brighten their day. So I'm just adding all different colors here. You can, you can layer the colors. Um, you just, let's see, that red, orange. I think I want a little more orange in this big heart. It's so pretty. So go ahead and color your three hearts in any manner. Maybe you want to color your hearts with, with cool colors. I just chose to use warm colors today. There's one. So now it's going to look on the card. I'll set it aside. Here's another one. I am pushing down quite hard because my, the look that I'm going for is very vibrant or bright. And if you want a softer look, you're gonna, you're go not going to press as hard. And as I said before, I'm using oil pastels. I bet you've used those before at school. I like, a lot of times I work with crayon. You'll see me create uh, some of these art videos with crayon. Crayon works great too. Crayon can be very vibrant. If you've got colored pencils, marking pens work for this. This whole, um, this whole playlist is called Simple Art at Home because I know that we're all staying home right now and we might not have supplies. Maybe you left your crayons in your desk at school. You know, we all, when we all left, we didn't necessarily know that we weren't um, going back. And all, a lot of my art supplies are in my, art, my office where I work, at the district office. So just use what you have. The whole point is that we are creating something out of love that we are going to pass on to somebody else and brighten their day just a little bit. As I said, um, all the places that I called, they were very, very happy and um, they would be happy with any art. Your art does not have to be perfect. Okay, so I have three examples of hearts and now I'm going to decide how I want to arrange them on my card, on the front of the card. I think, you know, you, can, you could line them up like this you know, so they're all uh, going in the middle from, from small to big. Uh, maybe you want to move the big one in the middle. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make them a little bit uneven like that. So I'm using a glue stick. If you have tape at home, tape works great. Maybe you have the liquid glue. Just use what you have. You can make hearts out of tissue paper, um, anything. As I said, we're not, this is not about being perfect. This is just about uh, the process as well. We're having fun and we're thinking about how thankful we are right now. 
that we have people who are caring for us and, and helping us. That's part of what this is. I always feel relaxed too when I create art like this. Okay, we're almost done. I'm going to take uh, a black pen. Um, you might want to use a black crayon or a different color. And I'm just going to outline these hearts. I'm going to leave a little space and just outline them. Now I suggest that you fill in all of the negative space on this card. In other words, I don't have a lot of time to show you, but you can work on this. Uh, even you can work on it a little bit tomorrow too, because I know it's a lot to do all in one day. Sometimes I don't feel like rushing through an art project and I work on it a little bit each day. But I recommend that you fill in the white background. Not, not this white background, but this white background. You can color it in with um, cool colors. Do you remember? The colors of the sea, blues and purples. These are cool colors, blues and purples and greens. That would be pretty to fill this in. Maybe you want to fill it in with words. Like, thank you, thank you. Or you could write love or words of courage or words of encouragement. It's entirely up to you. Um, I'm purposely not finishing this because I don't want all of our art to look the same. I would love our art to look a little bit different. And then again, you can open it up, you know, and um, there would be your message on the inside of your card. If you want to take a picture of your card, I would take a picture of the front cover and then also take a picture of the inside um, and just email those both to me or to the recipients. I'm going to take this back up to the easel and we're going to um, go into a little bit of closure. Well, thank you again for um, joining us today on this very special episode. And I really do hope that you um, send in your, your pictures of your work. And you know, just to recap, you have decided who you want to say thank you to. I showed you um, all four, the Anaheim Police Department, Anaheim Fire and Rescue, um, the Anaheim Urgent Care on State College, and also the Anaheim Stater Brothers on um, State College as well. And then you're going to create your art or your card. Here's an example. Here's the card. You can just grab this one more time. So maybe you want to do both. Uh, you might want to do just one or both. And the fun thing about emailing is you can take a picture, just one photo, of the front and the inside, and send it to all four places. So you don't have to make four separate um, pieces of art. So you can take a picture and either email it to me, and I will send it on uh, for you, or you can ask an adult to email it, and the, and the I'm going to show the addresses again in just a moment. Or you can send it in the mail with a stamp and an envelope and I have the addresses that you're going to see. So thank you very, very much uh, for joining me and please tune in next week um, for Simple Art at Home with Laura Houston. And also if you subscribe to the Anaheim Elementary School District channel or my channel, you'll get a notification every time um, we upload a new video or start streaming. So I'm gonna show you the four recipients again, and we're gonna see that fabulous student artwork one more time. Thank you so much, bye-bye.